Okay, so today we are going to do The Smiths and Jean. Uh, someone has been requesting this song for a very long time, I think. And uh, yeah, so I'm finally going to get to it. And uh, you're welcome, basically. Uh, so yeah, I I'm going to get here. Here we are, Smiths Friday. So let's get into this song and see what it's all about. Uh, let's go. So, Gene by the Smiths. Um, yeah, I can see why uh, you wanted me to listen to the song, because uh, that was very nice. Um, I really like that. Uh, this came out, I see it was, as uh, on Wikipedia says, and on Genius.com says, it was the B-side to This Charming Man, which was, which is one of the Smiths' most known songs. And, uh, yeah, it was released on Halloween in 1983. Uh, and all it says for the uh, description here on Genius.com is that it was the B-side to that and is on the deluxe edition of The Sound of the Smiths. And it was not on any album, uh, so except for that one, basically, uh, a compilation album. Uh, so, yeah, and there's not much information about the song uh, on anywhere I could find, really, which uh, surprised me as well. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I liked Marcy's voice. I really want to say it was kind of like, almost kind of broken, almost, uh, in a good way. I'm not saying it's bad. Uh, it was kind of, I could tell he was, was very young. It, he sounded very young. It sounded very uh, towards the start of his career, uh, 1983, which it was. And uh, yeah, and I also like, uh, as you can see by my head bopping, uh, the chorus was great. Uh, we tried, we failed, and then we, when he would get into it, just the, we tried and we failed, and then he would go on, uh, and then he would do his little uh, Morrissey kind of vocals there, uh, where he would 
I guess, you know, go higher and, uh, which I always like. And, uh, yeah. So, and I wrote like, you know, just the whole point of the song here, uh, and how he just pronounces Gene. It's just like, he's, there's a lot of like, uh, I guess like passion, a lot of commitment in his voice. And, uh, yeah, and he's really pretty much, I guess, trying to tell this Gene character, uh, to, uh, you know, kind of realize what he's realized, I guess, and that things are not as good as they seem kind of a thing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, with the first verse, uh, Gene, the low life has lost its appeal, <laughs> uh, and I'm tired of walking these streets to a room with its cupboard bare. Uh, Gene, I'm not sure what happiness means. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's relatable, uh, but I look in your eyes, and I know <laughs> that it isn't there. Uh, and then the we tried, we failed chorus, and then we have the verse two. Gene, there's ice cream on, or there's ice cream, there's ice on the sink where we bathe. Uh, and there's one annotation here. And, uh, it's actually not there anymore. All right. So there's no annotations. Uh, so then we go on. So how can you call this a home when you know it's a grave, but you still hope for ridding grace as you tidy up the place? Uh, but it will never be clean. Gene. I mean, he's really trying to get to Gene here. Uh, <laughs> then we have the chorus again. Then the third verse, cash on the nail. It's just a fairy tale, uh, fairy tale. And I don't believe in magic anymore. So really, uh, Morrissey, as a narrator here, has really lost faith in everything, basically, and uh, he is trying to get Gene to lose faith as well as what I'm seeing, but I think you know, I really think you know, I think you know the truth, so he's kind of saying, like, I think you actually know, you're just kind of, uh, you know, in denial of the truth here, and then we have the fourth verse, no heavenly choir, not for me and not for you, because I think that you know, I really think you know, I think you know the truth, Gene. And then we have the uh, ending uh, with the second chorus where he kind of changes it up with the we tried and we failed, oh, Gene. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say about the song. I really like the song. I mean, uh, I did my list before of uh, my favorite Smith's songs, and I would say, I don't know if this would be in my top 10, but uh, it, it would be up there because, I don't know, I just love Morrissey's vocals uh, here. Like I said, it's almost broken. He's really shown his young age, I feel, in this in this song in particular. And uh, it just has all the makings of, uh, you know, good Smith song. And it was a B-side, especially, uh, especially to a big hit. So I don't know if it's a well-known song or not, but uh, I really liked it. So anyway, I guess that's about it for uh, this Smith's Friday. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. I really appreciate all of the support and all of the requests. And uh, finally got the gene here. I can see why, like I said, uh, you wanted me to react to this because this was a banging song. So anyway, thanks for watching again. I'll talk to you guys again soon.